What's going on? What's going on, man? We out this motherfucker goddamn twilight. You get me? About to goddamn do the steering wheel right quick. We got steering wheel action. Steering wheel action. We got hubs. We got quick releases. We got steering wheels. We got Torx 30s. We got Torx 30s. Real big get me's. It's a torque 45. I need a torque 30. <laughs> that shit in the crib. She. All right, getting that last torque, um, torque 30 out. The other side was giving me a pain in the ass. And this side was low key. Give me a pain in the ass, but she coming out right now. And this is a torque 30. It's a Taurus 30 because it got a special, it's, it's just like a, a star, and it got like a, an indention in the middle. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like an indention in the middle. Like a little circle indention. And um, yeah, once I get these two off, I will take the airbag out. <clears throat> and I'll be taking the middle of this, the, the Audi a 19 to take the, it's a middle bolt in the steering wheel. You're gonna take that 19 out, and the steering wheel should be coming off. You gotta take the uh, the ground wire off and all that. All the wires that's connected inside. And it should be about to come off right now. Give me two seconds to see what we got, yeah. On some real shit, I need to go take the uh, this, the air back, the, uh, the battery. Disconnect the battery. That's the problem right now. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm about to kill myself. Yeah, I'm tripping, y'all. I'm gonna go disconnect this battery. Right now, I'm trying to, uh, I just I just uh, disconnected the battery cable. So right now I'm taking off these airbags. On my car, I showed you the same video. I did mine wrong. I broke the airbag and snatched the airbag shit completely out. Like, I got so frustrated because I couldn't even get this part. But I got me a, I thought I had me a smaller wrench this time. And I'm gonna try to get this thing up out of it. I'm trying to take these out correctly. Hold on, let me see what I can do. So I gotta get a smaller flathead, seem like. But now I got them in there. All right, I got them in there. You just gotta really dig in that groove. And take them out. Yeah, I broke mine, so. I wanna keep yours first. All right, um, man, right now I'm gonna take out this 19. It's a 19 millimeter screw in here. And I'm gonna holla at y'all when I get done with that. And you also gotta take this out. I forgot to tell y'all. Take that out first, and then take the 19 out. And then, this is your ground wire right here. I'm gonna pull that out right now so that won't get stuck. All right. All right, I got the 19 loose. Get your breaker bar. And you don't want to completely take the bolt off. You want to loosen it up and just, you don't want to completely take it off because when I take the steering wheel off, I'm going to break the steering The steering wheel going to be stuck and you want to give it, you want it to be uh, on there so when you break it, as you can see what I'm about to do, I'm about to pull it towards me, shake it back and forth until it feels loose. Make sure the bolt is loosened up a little bit more give so I can have it. I want as much play as I can between the bolt in the steering wheel so it can just come off. All right, it's off. As you can tell, the steering wheel is loose. Now off. And uh, this is what it looks like with the steering wheel completely off. I did um, put my battery back on because my airbag is off. I, I plan on selling my steering wheel with the airbag. So um, if y'all ever want to get a quick release steering wheel, always remember you can sell your steering wheel and get your money back from the, for the steering wheel. You feel what I'm saying? So you're not completely spinning I spent a hundred dollars for this setup, but a good setup is usually about two hundred bucks, probably about three fifty. But I wouldn't pay three fifty; I'd pay about two hundred. But one hundred, you get your decent setup like this one. This one's decent. I don't see nothing wrong with it. A lot of people would complain, or I don't know what they would. But anyway, I'm about to have some confusion here. But anyway. Yeah, this is what it looks like with this thing completely off. 
Right now, you see this dot right here? I gotta line that dot up with this line on the um, on the steering wheel hub. It's a line right here. And I also gotta line everything up with this white thing. This white thing I be lined up with this. And when I put this on, when I put this on here, this dot underneath this hole gotta be upright with this and that. All right, let me get that. Well, I don't ever think I'm crazy, but I'm about to cut this shit off with this. I'm about to just grind it down. I'm about to just cut the bitch off because it's in the way of me putting the steering wheel hub on the short hub. So I'm gonna holler at y'all when it's done. I did, I did mine the same way. Mine's the same way. I said I just ripped all my shit off. I, this one I'm about to do it clean. You got this. This is a piece for the horn. I don't know which if it's the, first, the second, the, the top third one, or the bottom third one. I think it's the bottom third one because I can see where I pulled it out at. It's the bottom third. You just jam it on up in there as hard as you can. You're gonna fit everything through this little hole, make sure everything lined up, fit everything through this little hole right here. It's a hole inside. Oh, we don't want to pull too hard on that one because that's what will come out. These two. I probably should do them two first. Lord have mercy. Jesus. Jesus. Get everything together. Let me get back with y'all, man. Let's pull everything in this hole right quick. All right, I messed around and um, got everything on. Now I gotta just get that bolt and put on and tighten them down. But everything is on. Solid. Oh, it's not on solid, but it's not on solid, but it's on solid. All right, I had to mess with it a little bit. Now it's on solid because. At first, that thing won't on. See how it's on plush? Yeah, man. Now I gotta put the boat on, tighten them down. Tighten down that 19. I want some real big gappies. Yes, sir. Right now, what we doing, as you can tell, I got my grind wire put in. We just making sure the horn work. We just trying to see if the horn work. So right now, I got my grind wire. And my, got, this is my grind wire. And it's my, no, this is my ground wire. And it's my power wire. So, um. I'm going to put my, um, My power wire 
on my left, my right side, and my ground wire on my left side. I don't know. I really don't know which side it is because it's not marked. It don't say positive, negative, nothing. So we do. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that if you just hook it up correctly, it's gonna work. That's what I'm guessing. Um, let me see the horn. Now I gotta put this on. This on. This it. See now it's not working. The horn not working. So it might have been in right. So hold on. I also gotta touch metal. So the horn not working, y'all. That's, I'm a, what I'm gonna do now while I'm in this position, I'm gonna switch these wires around to make sure before I, I move anything. If these wires is not if, that's not, if that's not a problem, I need to switch this wire to the other third, to where it was originally in. You know what I'm saying? I think I just, uh, you don't see that. I believe the problem is is that right there. I should have just left it where it was at. <laughs> is, is, could that be it? What else? That gotta be it. But I can't get the damn hub off. When I, I ain't got no flat here, like nothing strong enough to, to pry it off. When I, I tighten it down too tight and this shit is stuck on here now. So what we about to do, she said she don't use the horn no way, so I'm about to just put it on without the horn. Mine's got the horn, it's working, hers don't. All right, I'm gonna let y'all know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all when, when it's all done. All right, that's what it looks like, everything's on. Sucks the horn doesn't work, but sucks that it still looks good. I'll get the horn working some other time. I couldn't get the hub off, to be honest. So I'm gonna go buy a big ass flathead from uh, Harbor Freight and work on it some other time. But let me put this steering wheel on. This is what it looked like with the steering wheel on. You feel me? Feels good. Let me see what it looks like. I'm trying to get y'all. Uh, so I want y'all to see the horn. You feel me? No horn though. So what the problem may be is that I gotta take this this part off and swap them out. But I don't think that's the problem. I think this the, uh, the wire inside the hub, the power, which is cool. We'll get to that later. She said she don't use the, the, steering, the, the horn anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, how y'all like it, man? How y'all like that thing? Get in them comments. What's going on? What's going on? I'm out here early in the morning. Y'all done missed the cold start because I already cut the car on and shit. But uh, this is what we doing. This is what we doing today. We got uh, we got them headers. About to go take the car to the shop. This the test pipes right there. I ain't never even took them out the box. But them headers though, them headers though, ceramic coated and ready. Yeah, get me. So um, yeah, we're gonna throw that in the trunk. I really wanted to show you all this damn steering wheel. You feel me? That's what the video is about. The daytime shot of that thing. You feel me? Steering wheel still don't work. It's all good. We're gonna get to that later. You feel me? But that motherfucker's in and working. How y'all like it? Get in them comments, man.
Tell me what you think about that steering wheel for the G37 sedan.